with a recent report that found more than one million cars just in the Rochester area drive on deteriorating bridges each day. As 32M's Antoinette Dalbell reports, the not-for-profit transportation group that wrote this report worries drivers could be at risk if repairs aren't made. Kelsey, that's right. That report found about 10% of the bridges in the Rochester region are in disrepair, and some of them are the most heavily traveled. Cracked concrete and rust can be seen on the side of the bridge that carries 490 over the Erie Canal in Parenton. It's honestly really scary looking. It's just like really old and it looks really rusty and it's kind of scary to think like you're driving over and something bad could happen. Those components, you can see rust under there. It's a similar sight at a bridge in Brighton that carries 590 over South Clinton Avenue. The state of New York and Rochester as well fall all behind the national average. With 10% of their bridges rated structurally deficient, the national average is 8%. Obviously, any of those numbers are, are far too high. Rocky Moretti is part of a transportation nonprofit that looked at conditions of bridges and their safety levels across the state. He says of the more than 1,000 in our area, 120 are in need of immediate significant repairs or could otherwise face weight restrictions or closure. Once that happens, that's a significant challenge for a community. It means you can't get freight, large trucks across. More critically, you can't get fire trucks and large emergency vehicles across. In a statement, a DOT spokesperson said safety is a top priority. It went on to say the fact that a bridge is categorized as poor condition in the report does not mean it is unsafe. Even still, the risk is too much for some drivers. I won't go back over this bridge. I guarantee you I will take a, another out. And according to the DOT, bridges are required to be inspected at least once every two years.